Autodesk creates 2D and 3D design software for the manufacturing, building and construction and media and entertainment markets. The Vice President of Market Development with Autodesk is John Pittman. Hey, John, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing fine. Uh, what are some of the major challenges that you figure students themselves are facing over the last 30 years in trying to learn about this industry? Would you mean the last 30 years or the next 30 years? Yeah, well, I, how about uh, even where, where we've come? But let's, yeah, I guess let's talk, into, since the show is into tomorrow, let's talk about challenges that we're going to be facing. Well, I think there's some really interesting challenges coming up. You know, if you look at the last half of the 20th century, um, we really produced an enormous amount of wealth and an enormous amount of progress, and we often did that with very linear analytical thinking. So think about science, think about engineering, think about business. Um, but we've created some unintended consequences. If you think about it, we've created a climate change problem, some environmental challenges. We've created globalization, which means everybody's more competitive. Everybody's having to compete with each other. So the students today, I think, have to face a much different situation than students did a few years ago, over the last 30 years. Uh, students over the last 30 years really could focus on uh, getting more and more deep into their disciplines, more and more deep into their particular area. And now they have, they're confronted with these problems which are very systemic and holistic. So I think students going forward are going to have to think about the big picture, how to think about not just the pieces, but the connections between the pieces. Well, you make some valid points there because one of the issues, I guess, is you tend to think in terms of things like computer-aided design helping students, certainly, as they progress, but yet it then presents other complications, other issues that 30 years ago we weren't dealing with. Yeah, yeah. We, we used to think about computer-aided design as about documenting your design decisions. And I think as we go forward, much more it's going to be about looking at the consequences of your decision, saying, if I do something this way, what's going to happen? And can I see the holistic consequences? And can I, can I communicate to other people what, um, what my design's about and what the issues are? Well, how do you think then, uh, John, that technology can help the students uh, as we head into tomorrow? Well, I think technology, first and foremost, it needs to become less a documentation tool and more of a thinking tool. It has to help them um, make decisions, but then find a way to look at their decisions and say, is that what I wanted? Is that what I intended? How is that really going to work? And bring together a whole bunch of factors. So it's not just about the way um, something looks. Mm -hmm. It's about how it performs and how it relates to other things. And I like that, how you really challenge them now to think more in their course of study, which brings up then architects, designers, engineers, things of that nature. Uh, how, do, how can educators help prepare them for what's ahead? Well, I think one of the things that educators need to do is to think about breaking down these disciplinary boundaries. So if you think about the way disciplines were set up in the academic world, they were set up actually 300 years ago in the first German research universities. And they defined this taxonomy of knowledge broke the world into little pieces. Well, real world problems don't get solved in those little pieces. So the real key is to work across those pieces and look at the problem holistically. So working across disciplines is a challenge. And no doubt then that design can be a source of competitive advantage, no doubt. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's where Autodesk comes in. Oh, I like that segue. That, that worked out nicely. Autodesk.com for more. John Pittman, VP of Market Development. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us here. I can see well, we need to learn more about what you guys are doing. So hopefully we'll have time on future shows to do just that. Great. Looking forward to it. Thank you, sir. We're back with more. You don't want to miss all three hours of today's special broadcast from Autodesk University. Check out all the videos at Graveline.com.